Hello, this is Ray Main here again with today's Bible reading. Today we're going to be still reading in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11. Therefore thou shalt love the Lord thy God, and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commandment alway. And know ye this day, for I speak not with your children, which have not known, and which have not seen the chastisement of the Lord your God, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm, and his miracles, and his acts, which he did in the midst of Egypt, unto Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and unto all his land. And what he did unto the army of Egypt, under their horses, and to their chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you, and how the Lord hath destroyed them unto this day, and what he did unto you in the wilderness until you came into this place, and what he did unto Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their households and their tents and all the substance that was in their possession in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord which he did. Therefore shall ye keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that ye may be strong and go in and possess the land whither ye go to possess it, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers to give unto them and to their seed a land that floweth with milk and honey. For the land, whether thou goest in to possess it, is not as the land of Egypt, from whence ye came out, where thou sowest thy seed, and waterest it with thy foot, as a garden of herbs. But the land, whether ye go to possess it, is a land of hills and valleys, and drinketh water of the rain of heaven, a land which the Lord thy God careth for. The eyes of the Lord thy God are always upon it, from the beginning of the year even unto the end of the year. And it shall come to pass, if ye shall hearken diligently unto my commandments which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, that I will give you the rain of your land in its due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thine oil. And I will send grass in thy fields for thy cattle, that thou mayest eat and be full. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived, and ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. And then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut up the heaven, that there be no rain, and that the land yield not her fruit, and lest ye perish quickly from off the good land which the Lord giveth you. Therefore shall ye lay up these words in your heart, these my words in your heart and in your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt write them upon the doorposts of thine house, and upon thy gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give them, as the days of heaven upon the earth. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you to do them, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave unto him, then will the Lord drive out all these nations from before you, and ye shall possess greater nations and mightier than yourselves. Every place whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even unto the uttermost sea, shall your coast be. Now I highlighted this, highlighted and underlined this for a reason right here. Look at a map. Look at where the, the country of Israel, the state of Israel is today with the boundaries that are defined by men. The Palestinians and others are trying to take away every foot that they can to steal as much as they can from the, uh, from the Israelis as of today. Look at a map and see where the river Euphrates is. The river Euphrates runs out of Turkey, modern day Turkey, down through the center of a rock and into the ocean. Just imagine from there across Syria, across Lebanon to the Mediterranean Sea. This is the land that was given to the children back there. And the Palestinians are hollering about their land. They're, they're all Canaanites. They're all Canaanites. They were destroyed from before Israel by God. You see what's happening today? People are failing to acknowledge God. That's all I'm going to say. 
There shall no man be able to stand before you. For the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that ye shall tread upon, as he hath said unto you. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse, a blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day to go after other gods which ye have not known. And it shall come to pass, when the Lord thy God hath brought thee in unto the land, whether thou goest to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim, and the curse upon Mount Ebal. And they not are they not on the other side of Jordan, by the way where the sun goeth down, in the land of the Canaanites, which dwell in the Champagne over against Gilgal, beside the plains of Morah? For ye shall pass over Jordan, to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you, and ye shall possess it, and dwell therein. And ye shall observe to do all the statutes and judgments which I set before you this day. So Moses is continuing his discourse, his reminding about the statutes and the laws and the commandments that were given by God to the children of Israel. In the New Covenant, in the New Testament, we have become heirs if you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. We have become heirs and co-heirs with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a natural Jew. He was the Son of God. He was born of a, a Isra Israelitish woman. He was uh, born of, of those folks. That makes him an heir in the natural He's an heir as a son of God. He's an heir in the spiritual, an heir to eternal life. And as heirs, I believe in the 8th chapter of Romans, it talks about us being an heir and co-heir with him. We can access, I'm not talking about that natural land over there, but all the promises of if we will uh, keep his commandments, if we will do good, if we will serve him, we can access those same promises that he promised the children of Israel back there. At that time, they were called the children of God. Well, I got news for you. I'm a child of God. I'm not a natural Jew. I am a spiritual Jew. And so are you if you have accepted Christ in your heart as your Savior today. So God bless you, and I trust that you'll have a blessed day.